Hello everyone, in this video we are going to replicate this map of Australia. This is an interactive map. If we click on one state, we get some info, as you can see here. So let's see how we can do this in R. First of all, we need to load these three packages here. Now, if you already watched the previous videos, you are already familiar with this, with this code here. We are getting the ISO3 code for Australia. So let's check it. Here, Australia, and this is the code. So now that we know the code, we can uh, download the data from the database. We are using this get data. Uh, here, this is the database, this is the country that we want, and we have to use the, the code, this one, for Australia, level equal one, because we are getting the data for the Australian states. So, I already downloaded this, in fact, and you can find here. So, if you download it for the first time, uh, you will see a bar that will tell you that you are downloading this uh, this data this data but it really takes a few seconds so let me run this now we can check the the, the class and view the data let's view the the name of the of the states here and these are the name of the australian states and now we can plot our first map by using leaflet. Leaflet, we are adding here add tiles and then add polygons. Data, here we are setting the data to be our data set. Let's run this one. And this is our first map. You can see this interactive. We can move it. We can enlarge. And you can see that we have the border of the states, but uh, they have the same color because basically we didn't provide any, any data to these to this states. And this is what we're going to do next. Here I'm just building some random data. So now I have these states and this this number here. So I'm going to replot this uh, this map here, but now uh, the color will depend on this on this number. So first of all, we have to set the, the palette, the color palette, and for here we are going to use this color quantile. The the color will be based on this palette equal viridis. The domain is referring to this column here, and then we want we set n equal four. This is the number of quantile basically. Let's run this. And now let's rerun this uh, uh, code here. Um, just add this one for the for the color, and I add here the the legend. Let's run this one. This is our new our new map here, and this is the the legend. Now, what I want to do is uh, this map is very nice, but I want to remove everything that is not Australia from from the map. So, what I'm going to do now is remove add tiles, and also remove this one, and this is the uh, the code that 
uh, define here the color of this map here, the background, and the tiles of this map. I'm removing these two, and I want to add the info uh, about each state. So uh, I'm going to do this with this one, pop up, paste, state, the name of the state that corresponds here to the data set. Then this one means start a new line, then the value, and here the value is from the, the data set. And then again here, this means start a new line. And the rest is the same. So we run this one. This is now our map, this is interactive. If I click on, on the states, I get the info. Which is now that the color are not very neat. So I want to change a little bit this code. So let's run now this one. And this is our map of Australia. This is the one I show you at the beginning. And enlarge. You move here. This is our legend. Now what I want to do is I want to change this. Basically, these are based on quantile. I want numeric value. So what I'm going to do is just change the function here to color numeric. Reverse here is just reverse the, the order of the color. So let's run this one. Let's run the same code as before. Now, as you can see, we have numeric value here. For example, this state here, value is 652. This over here is yellow, 86. This here. So, I hope this is useful. And if you enjoyed this video, see you in the next one.